Let me introduce to you our annotators for this event, who are Taekwondo experts as well. Carol Chua, a first Dan black belt and a bronze medalist in the Philippine National Games in 1994. Carol's partner is Ricky Santiago, who is also third Dan black belt and an international referee for four years. Taipei's team is very, very strong, Ricky. Yes, Taipei is a strong team, especially their women's division. You see Taipei? Tu Chin Huang in, of Taipei in the in blue, blue armor. armor. Yes. And Christina Adzeni of Italy in the red armor. Third round. 45. But it doesn't merit a point. A, a good axe counter kick. Counter axe kick. Yes, and it's a point. 3-0 now. For Taipei. Two minutes, 27 seconds to go on the third round. Taipei leads another, another axe, axe kick. kick. And a but 45 Taipei, counter. And Taipei seems uh, to fighter be down. falls down. Taipei is down, but... The score is now 4-0. Nothing... Spraying painkiller now, so she can forget the pain and continue on with the match. This is the women's spin weight semi-final match. Third round between Taipei's Very Tuchin good exchange. Kuang. Ricky, I think Taipei got that one with three points for this round. And she's now up to five points. With Italy, no points at all. Yes. It's 5 0. One minute and 50 seconds to go in the third round. I think Taipei could get this, um, this fight. Yes, and she will win, be assured of a silver medal, and go on to fight Korea's Sohyang. Now the start of the second round in the women's spin weight finals between Korea Song Yang and Taipei's Chu Chin Huang. Good 45. No, it doesn't merit a, uh, a point. Again, Taipei is on the red armor and Korea. Good 45. Uh huh. But it doesn't no merit point. a point. Yes. Taipei is on the red armor and Korea in the blue armor. Good punch Good kick. Um, they seem to be always on one side for, for just right before they kick. The red fighter is leading with a punch kick. Two eleven. Two minutes eleven seconds to go in the second round. Both again. Referee tells them to fight. Reprimanded. I Good counter 45, 45 by So Yang. Yes, oh, and she one gets all. a point. It's one all. At one minute and 45 seconds to go for the second round. A oh, good and round a counter house. right roundhouse by the. It's 2-1. Okay, now it's 2-1. One. one minute 38, 38 seconds to go. Second round of this women's fin weight division finals. The women's team of Taipei is quite a strong force. Last year in the 1994 Asian Championships, they got four out of eight gold medals. They got four gold medals. The other four came from Korea. Oh, a good attempt, but uh, a good attempt from Korea. It missed. It missed. Very fast turning off. Setting up the kick again. 57 seconds to go in the second round. With Taipei leading two points, Korea with one point. Now she's waiting in the corner, Chu Chin Huang of Chinese Taipei, the red armor, setting up for a counter from Sohi Yang's offense. There, okay. 
and they step out of the ring and she gets a warning for turning her back so that's only a 0.5 deduction she's still ahead 25 seconds to go second in the second round, round. Punch kick, lead punch, punch kick, kick, and no, so young falls, but because, no point. Because it didn't okay. hit the armor. Yes. It's it scored. She's it's three scored. now. Three okay. one. Yeah, because so young fell down and lost her balance, okay. and that's it. That's the end of the second round. With Taipei leading three points and Korea with one point. If she continues, looks like Chu Chin Huang of Taipei. She looks very, very good and very, very strong. Strong for the gold medal. You can expect So He Young to um, be more aggressive right now, no, Ricky? That's right. Um, given only She's behind by two. Yes, only by two points. And I'm sure that she can be, she, she can um, catch up. She has a lot of time. Let's see what she does. The faking, trying to find the opening. There, ah, bullet 45, but she lost her balance. She was jumped by Taipei. No point there. Still three for Taipei, one for Korea. Another punch kick by Chinese and Taipei. Taipei has it. She got a point for that. She's four now one. leading four to one. Two, tw two minutes and 23 seconds to go in this third round, the last round in the finals of the women's thin weight division. Good exchange of kicks. It's still the same score. They've got one minute and 50 seconds to go in the third round. Taipei four, Korea's one. Chu Chin Wang of Taipei just waiting now. She doesn't have to attack. She's ahead. And her kind of game is defensive. Very good 45. Yes, and Korea gets one point for that. 4-2 now. However, Chu Chin Wang of Taipei is still up by two points. An out in. And if both of them fell. Well, yes. Time out. No, no point, no point. Time out. Okay, referee. Stops time. Okay, now. One minute and 15 seconds to go. No, that still four yes. Four um, three, Korea. yeah. So Korea now gets it. One minute and nine seconds to go in the third round. Three points for Korea, four points for Taipei. By the way, Taipei has one warning. So she really has to be ahead. They're out of the ring now. The referee will break it. Okay, separate them, bring them back to the center. 50 seconds to go on, the, on this third round. Again, Taipei has to lead by one point. No points, still four, three. 41 seconds to go. Okay, they're out of the ring again. They're out of the blue area, the fighting area. Okay. 25 seconds to go, Ricky. Good counter. 20 seconds to go. 4-3. Okay. No points though. Just lost Still the Taipei, balance. four, Korea, yeah. three, nine, nine seconds, seconds to, go. to go. She's really catching up. And a roundhouse, but she fell. Let's and see. Three, two, and one. That's it. So Taipei wins. Chin Wang of, Korea, of Taipei wins. Yes, Taipei wins in this women's fin weight final. The Chi Chin Wang of Taipei. They are the winner. That's her first World Taekwondo Championships, and she wins it here in the Manila 12th Men's and 5th Women's World Taekwondo Championships. Still have no two minutes and five seconds to go. So Roberto Cruz, prior to this fight, fought against Iran. 
and the referee stopped the fight in the second round because the Iranian team, that Good was a 45. point, I think. Yes, that and it's 1-0. Yes. Our own Roberto Cruz gets a point. He has a good chance. One minute, 45 seconds to go in the first round. Again, the Philippine team is in the blue armor, and Jordan is in the red. This is the fin weight. Both are very cautious, Ricky. Um, if you would notice also in the, for the fin weight division, here is where the action is because you can see all the fast kicks, all the high kicks and... Yes, because they are very light, the lightest weight and they can carry their bodies easily. Another lead 45. 45. And it merits a point. Two. It's 3-0 three zero now. 3-0 three zero for three Roberto zero. Cruz. He's doing fine. Actually, he's been quite consistent since um, his very first fight. And if he does the same thing... Another double 45. Out, but he doesn't get a point. Okay, and the crowds here are going wild, the Filipino crowd. A hometown that favorite, is, yes. of course. Still 3-0, three, 3 for Philippines. 29 seconds to go in the first round of the Finweight, men's Finweight division. It seems that Roberto Cruz does not even need to size up the Jordanian player. I think uh, before this fight, he already studied his opponent. Because he seems to know how to read Flam Mohammed's moves. Okay, the Jordanians given a warning. Yes, for misconduct. And, and that's, that's the end. end of the first round. Roberto Cruz, coached by national trainer Stephen Fernandez, himself a bronze medalist in the Olympic Games in Barcelona. Both players are already assured of the bronze, right, Vicky? That's right. They're basically fighting to advance to the final round. Whoever wins is assured of a silver medal. You know, Carol, Roberto Cruz has got quite a reputation with uh, foreign, with uh, fighters from other countries. Such as? Well... What is his reputation? They always ask about, about him. How's Roberto? <laughs> okay, the score now Good is 5-2. Yes, 5-2, five, 5-2 two, five, two Philippines and 2 points for Jordan. Score now is 5-2. Still 5-2. I'll leave 45, I think that will merit a point. No, no but it doesn't, okay. it doesn't. I thought I heard the arm more. 30 seconds to go in the third round. It seems that Philippines is really leading. If he wins this, he proceeds to the finals. Countdown. 19 seconds to go on the third round. We're watching the men's finweight semifinals. You see how desperate Jordan, the Jordanian player is, to, is um, playing. Turning side. But it doesn't marry the player. Point. That was a good one. Still 5-2. That's, that's it. That's it. That's the end of the third round. And the of Philippines course. is assur assured of a silver medal here in the men's, men's spin weight Roberto division. Cruz Roberto the Philippines. Cruz. Philippines. Five points and two points for the Jordanian Fla Mohamed Al Hamid. You can hear the crowd cheering, Ricky. Yes. Obviously a crowd favorite. They're going wild. Korean fighter Shiong Tae Chin. Yeah, Chin is his family name. And he has got quite an impressive record, Carol. He was a silver medalist in the 10th Asian Taekwondo Championships, but he was a gold medalist in the 11th World Taekwondo Championships. 
In the 94 World Cup Taekwondo Championships, in the 12 Hiroshima Asian Games, and the, in the 8 Iran International Taekwondo Tournament. So quite an impressive credential set of record there. Yes, for a 22-year-old student. And an axe kick an to the face kick. of Roberto Cruz. And, and he he's 1-0. Korea, 1-0. Quite fast. Start of the second round of the men's finweight finals again. Philippines... Philippines' Roberto Cruz is in the blue armor and Xiong Tai Chin of Korea in the red armor. Korea leads by one point. Good attempt, but no point, no point. credited. Philippines still none. Referee tells Cruz to kick higher. Stephen Fernandez, coach of the Philippines. Just basically waiting for each other. One of them gets a little, just a little bit impatient, like the Korean right now. He's actually trying to he's make. He's testing. He's testing Cruz. Okay, the crowd's here now, clapping. Clapping in unison for Roberto Cruz. Shouting Filipinas, Laban. One minute, 45 seconds to go in the second round of the men's finweight division. Still Korea with one point and Philippines none with a warning. Now Roberto Cruz has to get one point or at make that two points to win because of yes. that warning. So he has to be ahead by at least one point. Well, he still has Korea. one minute and 23 seconds. 45 lands at the back, no point is given. Good, another one, but it's not strong enough. Jumping turning, 45, but it misses. Again, both. Try, I think both of, both of them are trying to set up the fight to their advantage. But neither of them is budging to each other's bait. They're waiting. 45 seconds to go. Second round, still the same score. One to zero. One for Korea. Here and the crowd cheering. I think what, uh, you can see that um, everyone basically is, is um, behind Roberto Cruz. Twenty seconds left on the second on the second round of the men's fin weight. Still the same thing. And that's the end of the second round, Ricky. Still one zero for Korea with a warning for Roberto Cruz of the Philippines. Of the Philippines. Again, Roberto Cruz has to have two points or at least one point more than the Korean contender because of, her, uh, because of, of his warning. warning. And the start of the third round, again, miracles can happen, isn't it, Ricky? Yeah, it's so only one zero. Really hope for this one. Third round, this, this will, is the final. This is the final round Winner of gets the final gold. match. In the men's spin weight division between Korea's Jin Sun Tae and Roberto Cruz. Tries his ground, a counter, Attacks. but... Jin Sun Tae evades. Okay. You can see their fast footwork, Ricky, being that both are in the fin weight division. Yes, both fighters are seasoned. Quite seasoned, season. I may say. Two minutes and 15 seconds left on the third round. Still Korea leads with one point. Philippines none with a warning. Walk 
One minute and 56 seconds to go in the third round. The final round in this finals match between Korea and the Philippines. An attempt by the Korean team, but no, doesn't merit up any point. We've got, Ricky, we've got one minute and 25 seconds left on the third round. Good exchange. Who's now that was attacking. Now it's two. Now it's two, two zero. zero. Yes. Two Jin for Sun, Korea. Jin Sun Tae somehow got a point in that exchange. I think that was a kick on the, uh, on the head. One minute, five seconds to go. Two points for Korea. The referee signals Kore the Korean fighter to kick higher. Jumping, Tur turning long. But does it merit a point? I don't think so. Yes, because he missed. He, because um, Kitoi basically just slipped. They, they kind of like brushed through um, the headgear. Again, both, both are setting up. You know, for all of you out there, we're here at the Folk Arts Theater. I suggest you come over to take a look at the action live. Yes, this is the second day. And a good jam. A good jam by the Korean contender. Korean is down, but no point there. 18 seconds to go in this third round. Ten seconds to go. It's two points for Korea and none for Philippines. A good attempt. And that's the end. That's the end of the third that's round. That's the end of the third round of the men's finweight final. Yeah, yeah. And Korea's Shung Tae Chin is declared the winner. Shung yes. Tae the winner. Germany's fighter is Monica Sprengel and Vietnam's Chan Thai Mai Lin. The last round. And Vietnam gets a point, but and? A warning for pushing. A warning for Germany. Vietnam has three points already. Germany is still five. Germany still has a very comfortable lead, Ricky. But Vietnam has about two minutes and 30 seconds left on this third round, and anything can happen. And Vietnam is quite aggressive. Aggressive, yes. And she's already assured of a bronze medal at least. And this is the first time that Vietnam has won a medal in a World Taekwondo Championships. What a fighter she is. With that exchange of kicks, Ricky, I don't think they, they got up any point for that. However, it's still 5-3 in favor of Germany. Forty-five, and it scores a point. So Germany is up now, six to three. Actually, Monica Sprengel won um, a bronze medal in the last World Cup in '94, and she placed fifth in um, in the European Championships in '94. Carol, the coach of Germany, there giving some signs to. Yes, Monica. because she's got 30 seconds left, actually, on this third round. In Germany, still six. Vietnam, only three. Whoever wins this match will be assured of a silver medal and will fight Turkey in the finals. Earlier, Turkey defeated Puerto Rico. A very strong fighter for, um, from Turkey. Nine seconds to go. I think Germany bags this event. Yes, and that's the end of the third round, Ricky. Yes, that's Monica Germany has Sprengel. six points with Vietnam only three. Good fight, however, from the Vietnamese. Monica Sprengel of Germany wins a silver medal. However, she has a crack at the gold medal. Germany. 
and she jumps. First round. It seems, Carol, that the red fighter from Germany is more defensive. Yes, and she was able to get a point for that 45. It is now one all. One point for each one. And Turkey gets another point for that 45. Here. However, Germany has a point also. Yes, from We the see there 45. the Turkish delegation waving their flag. And Hamida Bikin of Turkey likes to punch a lot and she uses her right leg particularly when she counters or attacks. And 50 seconds left for one minute, uh, for, I'm sorry, for the first round. And a rather. turning side kick. I don't think that she gets drives the point. The German fighter, oh, she's injured. But she's okay, it's still 2-1, Turkey. In favor of Turkey. Another punch. The punch, basically, what, Turkey, what the Turkey fighter is doing is to set back yes, her Carol, opponent. To jump. Yes, and she kicks. And now she's making that sign again. She has this trademark sign. She raises her arm first before she kicks. Yes. And they fall, but they just lost their balance. Ten seconds to go on this first round of the women's flyweight division. Turkey has two points, whereas Germany has one point. And the end of the first round. The score is 2-1 in favor of Turkey. So we are here at the Folk Arts Theater in Manila. Start of the second round between Turkey and Germany. Again, Turkey is in the blue armor and Germany in the red armor. 2-1, to one, Turkey has two, Germany has one point. This is the women's flyweight finals. Winner takes gold, Ricky. That's right. And there's a 45 kick from Germany, and she gets that point. It's two all. At two minutes, two 40 seconds left for a second round. No point there. 30 seconds into the second round. So the German fighter now adapting a waiting defensive style. Jumping turning 45, she misses. And she does her thing. Turkey did, did also the same thing as... And she gets a, a point for that 45. For that basic 45, now it's 3-2 in favor of Turkey. One minute and 57 seconds left. A good 45 kick from Germany, but, I, it's, but it, it doesn't merit a point. Register on the scoreboard, so there's no point. One minute, now, 30 seconds to go. That's Hamide Bikken of Turkey in the blue armor, and Monica Sprengel in the red armor. A good and turning jumping, long. turning 45 and a turning long a counter by turning Turkey. Long Turkey. And she gets that point. It is now four to two. Four for Turkey and two for Germany. 52 seconds left on the second round. Turning side kick, she loses yeah. her balance and that's a point. However, the referee gives her a warning for misconduct. For misconduct. Turkey has five points now. Germany still two. Thirty seconds left on the, on the second round. Another attempt. Okay, the chief referee telling them to go back to center court. There are four corner referees scoring this match. And again, at least two referees should see a kick making a point to be able to be credited. Ten they seconds to go. Change of kicks, no point at all. Turkey has five, Germany still has two. The end of the second round, and 
And Turkey, again, has five. Germany still has two. You can see the Turkish fighter signaling the German fighter for a better position. Waiting, both fighters waiting and attacking. And Down to 45 on the turning side. No, but it does not get a point though. One minute, five seconds to go in this third round. Turkey has five points and Germany has two. You can hear in the background the German team cheering for their bet. And Turkey gets a point for that. On the counter turning side. Another point. So Turkey now leads with seven, seven points. Seven to two. And 36 seconds two. to go in the last round. Another one. Another point. Okay, it's all right to go out of the eight by eight blue area as long as you're kicking. However, Turkey the referee gets gives the mm -hmm. Turkish fighter a warning. So she got gets now a total of one deduction. Another warning for holding. But I think the Turkish fighter is quite comfortable now with eight points and 11 seconds to go in this third round. Germany still has only two. Yes, Carol, it looks like Turkey will take the gold Zero medal. countdown from the Turkish team. And the end of the third round, Ricky. And Turkey. Hamide Bikken of Turkey yeah. takes the gold medal in the women's fly flyweight finals. quite strong now so this is the second round no point there still one all two minutes and 50 seconds left double 45 from Turkey but no point a good axe kick. kick a good axe kick the armor the yes. headgear, I mean. On the headgear, and Turkey has two points now. Iran won. Two minutes, 26 seconds left. The Iranian fighter now using a series of combinations. Still 2-1 with two minutes to go in the second round. This is the men's flyweight jam. finals. I think that was a jam of the turning side and Turkey gets a point. 3-1. And Iran gets that point. Now it's 3-2 um, to two in favor of Turkey. Both have each their warnings. Again, Carol, it's all right to go out of the blue fighting area as long as you're kicking however if you move back move without back fighting her. you get a warning another 45, 45 kick from turkey and he scores his score is four now it's four two four to two turkish fighters quite fast he's given a warning for going out. going out i think he's been stepping out of the, of the fighting area too much in any case, there's still one minute left for the second round. Turkey has four. Iran, still two. 45 from Iran. Iran gets a point, and Turkey has a point also in that exchange. It's 5-3 it's now. Still in favor of Turkey. Jumping turning 45. No, no point. Thirty-four seconds left.
No point there. 17 seconds left. Turkey ha still has five. Iran, three points. This is the second round. Again, Iran is in the blue armor and Turkey in the red armor. The end of the second round. Quite an intense fight, Ricky. And you yes. can also hear the, the people, cheering. the crowd cheering, each, on the, uh, each for, for their, their own favorite fighters. teams. Yes. yes. The crowd here at Folk Arts Theater. The start of the, of the third round. Very good exchange. Again, no points. Still 5-3. Iran has, a, uh, has three points and Turkey five points. 45 kick from, from Turkey, but I think it only landed on the thigh. So no point. Okay, Iran attacking more and more. Turkey looking for that opening, jamming the offense of Iran. And I think he'll get another warning for moving out. Yes. So he has one deduction now. And likewise, the Iranian fighter gets a warning too. So it's one deduction apiece. But a Turkey fight, a, a good jumping turning, turning side. side. So and it's six Turkey four. gets a point for that. Also, Iran also gets a point. Iran. Turkey so now has four. six, Iran has four. With a minute and 53 seconds left in the third and final round. This is the men's flyweight division. Earlier, this Iranian fighter defeated Korea. Turning side, but I think it was slow. No point. One minute and 23 seconds left. And a turning side follow up from Turkey. And, and he scores a point there. He's got seven points Dropping now. 45. Iran has four. Again, Turkey leads. Seven four. One minute to go in this third and final round. So the Turkish fighter just waiting, waiting for waiting the offense of Iran. 40 seconds left on this third round. Seven points for Another turning Turkey. side. Another turning side. But it's quite low. Slow and no point there. 27 seconds left in this third round. Turkey leads with, with um, seven points. Another turning side. Still no point. 15 seconds left. Now Iran really has to do something. You can hear the crowd cheering already. A countdown from the Turkish team. Well, Carol, it looks like Turkey will take the gold. Yes. Turkey. Sihat Kutluka. Kutluka. And he's very happy. He's smiling. Gets the gold for the men's flyweight division. Yes. That Sihat Kutluka of Turkey taking the gold medal. While Iran's Bilir Dad, Rokni, takes the silver medal. Let's learn more about this wonderful sport, Taekwondo. It's one of our more modern sports here. It is now in the Sydney 2000 Olympics. However, in the Atlanta 96 Olympic Games, it will not be there. Oh, how come? It, will it be um, just another... Well, um, since it was a, a demonstration sport in the 88 Seoul Olympics and the 92 Barcelona Olympics, what, when it was approved last year in the IOC meeting mm -hmm. in Paris, they... They decided to make it yet another um, demonstration sport. 
No, Still? they made it, they approved it for the 2000 Olympics as, as an official sport. However, in the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, there is yet? no, there are no demonstration sport. Okay. That's why. Okay. So under 30 seconds here, in the third round. Third round, no points yet for yes, both. Yes, it's still 3-2. Three, 3 for Taipei, 2 for U.S., and those points were merited from the previous rounds, not on the third round. It was a strong kick from the U.S., but it does not... It's 3-all now. Okay, it does okay. get a point. U.S. So got a point, so it's 3-all. Okay, we are ending this third round. And the score is tied. Looks like so the referees now will decide who is more superior. Both contenders have three points without any deductions nor warnings. Our chief referee no is now moving back to center court. And he knows And now who let's won. see who, who wins. It's oh, USA. Yes. And yeah. USA proceeds to the finals against the Korean Won Sun Jin. Again, this is the finals for the women's bantamweight division. This is the first round between USA and Korea. Michelle Thompson of USA against Won Sun Jin of Korea. Korean fighter now becoming more aggressive. A few more kicks, but it doesn't merit a point. We've got about one minute to go for the first round, and Korea leads with one point. USA none at the moment. Won Sun Jin of Korea is 21 years old. She is a student of Kyung Hee University. Among her accomplishments are the second Women's World Taekwondo Championships. She was a, the gold medalist in the flyweight category. She was also the gold medalist in the bantamweight category in the 10th Asian Taekwondo Championships in 1992. They've got also, about yes. she was the bronze medalist in the bantamweight category in the fourth Women's World Taekwondo Championships. And I think they've got about 20 seconds left on the clock for the first round. Again, you're witnessing the final match of the women's bantamweight, Korea versus US. Okay, we're about to finish with the first round. A very An good axe, axe kick, kick. By Won Sun Jin of Korea. Kick, which merits a point. Korea yes. takes two. It's and that's two the zero end. now. Yes, and that's the end of the first round. Okay, we resume the match in the second round of this final. Finals of the women's bantamweight category. And they've got one minute and 30 seconds to go for the second round. Okay, no point there. A very good... Okay, that's a lead no. 45 by Won Sun Jin and fails the opponent. So the score is now 4-0. Won Sun Jin of Korea easily avoids the kick of Michelle Thompson of the USA. She got six points up, but with one um, warning. With the way she's going, she looks pretty much sure to win this match. Another 45 kick to the US. I and think it's 7-0. One Less minute to go. Less than one minute to go. Another one. Another 45. And, and she clenches her fist in victory. Now seven points seven for Korea. Zero. Still zero with the U.S. Well, we, we definitely have a lot of things to learn from the Koreans, Ricky. Yes. Uh, it's the way they train, perhaps. It's really different. Possibly, possibly. 30 seconds to go. And another one from Korea. Still eight points for Korea, none for U.S. 8-0. Very strong indeed. This is the third round for the women's bantam final. Ten, okay, ten we're about left. to end this finals. And looks like Won Sun Jin of Korea is going to win this match easily against the USA. And I guess and that's the does. end, Ricky. That's the end. Korea obviously. takes the gold. Yes, obviously USA. Korea wins. Michelle Thompson of the USA gets the silver medal in the women's bantamweight division. What a good fight from Michelle Thompson of the US. And of course, Sun Jin Won of Korea. Very happy indeed.
This is the men's finals in the bantamweight division between Jang Desun of Korea and Gabriel Esparza of Spain. And the referee tells them to fight. Because they cannot simply just stand there. Both um, fighters before this match scouted each other's style of play. Esparza initiating the fight with a bullet 45. But Dae Sun Chang was able to block them. You can actually block with your arms or with your hands to just basically to muffle the kick. Yeah, blocking is allowed. Okay, uh, that Outer was a 45. 45. A 45 from the Korean. It's one. Is that a point? No. I don't think no that point. credits as, as a point. Oh, hold on. Yes, it does credit as a point. The 45 kick by the Korean credits as a point. It's 1-0 so for far, Spain. Two minutes to go in the first round. And it's one for Korea, so it's one all now. Spain gets another one. Very now exciting one match. You can feel the tension. A good attempt. Okay. But I guess each one, both of them were able to kick each other. Yeah, 45s, 45s by both fighters. However, there was no point. One minute to go for the first round. And we've got one all for both. <laughs> if you've noticed, both are very, very fast. So if you blink, Ricky, you won't be able to catch the point there. That's right, Carol. And they're throwing only single kicks right now. Single kicks, very, very safe kicks too, 45s. A lead 45 by Esparza. However, no point. We're under 30 seconds now even in the, the first round. Even the turning side of the Korean wasn't able to get in. Still the same score, one all. The coach of Korea. 15 seconds to go for the first round of the men's finals. Men's bantamweight finals, actually. Esparza moving away. They're basically sizing each other. Then that's okay. the end of the first round. It's one all. Very, one very all close first fight. First round, close fight. And all the um, spectators are actually at the edge of their seats. That's right. You can feel the tension in the air. In the background, you can hear Spain clapping, cheering for their own contender. And the start of the second round. This is the men's finals, bantamweight division between Jang Desun of Korea and Gabriel Esparza of Spain. Okay, we will see some changes in their game. Okay, a series of 45s by the Korean fighter Jang Desun. Was there a point there? I think there was no point. A counter, a counter turning side by Spain. By but I think that was by Korea. The score now is 2 for Korea, 2-1. Two, Korea leads by one point. Gabriel Esparza likewise does a series of 45 kicks. If you would notice, that um, technique was supposed to confuse the Korean fighter. But the Korean fighter knows better. That's Can right, Carol. Okay, as far as I'm Good attempt, but I don't think that. Side. Yes, I don't, I don't think, think there that was a point. a point. Under two minutes to go. This is the second round of the men's bantamweight finals. Okay. Referee continues the match. You notice both are are very very um, defensive, but um, Spain is trying to be more aggressive. Spain is behind by one point. The score is two one for Korea.
The referee warns them again, tells, tells them to fight. It shouldn't be too long a lull for both contenders. You can't blame the fighters, they just don't want to go in. Very good counter by, by Spain. Still 2-1. One. one minute to go, the second round of the men's bantamweight finals, Korea versus Spain. Korea gets a warning for pushing. Oh, a warning would mean a 0.5 point point five deduction. deduction. So he's still leading. Spain is trying to fake um, the Korean. Okay, that's a counter. A counter, but by quite low. Sparsa. But still very low, Ricky. Yes, I think no it only, point. It only hit the, um, the thighs. The thigh, yeah. got 10 seconds to go in the second round and Korea still leads with two points and Spain with one. That's it for the second round. Does that merit a point? However, there was a, that was a very strong kick. Let's see yes. if it merits a point. Yes, it so does. Now, Korea gets three, one point. Three yes. for Korea. Three, mm -hmm. one. The score is three, one. Korea leads by two points. Now for the third round in the in the men's bantamweight division between Gabriel Esparza of Spain and Jang Desun of Korea. Korea in the blue armor and red armor for Spain. They expect Esparza now to come in some more. They both are waiting. Counter 45 by the Korean but it only lands at the back. Double 45, good, but I... No point. No point okay. for Spain. Lost his balance, now he's up, okay. We've got two minutes and 20 seconds left for the round three. The final round of this final match. For the men's bantamweight division. If you would notice, um, Korea is trying to bait Spain. What he's, what he's doing now is he's jamming the offense of Spain. Korea is hoping that Spain could, could kick too, kick first and he could counter. And Spain gets, gets a, a warning. warning for kicking below the leg. Now both has, the uh, both of them will have um, a 0.5 deduction already. Yes, but Korea leads by by one point, by one Korea point. has three points, Spain still two. An exchange of kicks, I don't think that merits a point. Okay. They've got one minute and 10 seconds left on round three. Now Spain has to do something already. Next kick attempt, but it does not land on the headgear, so no point. No point for that kick. It seems that the Korean has figured out how to fight Gabriel Esparza of Spain. A very good 45. Was that a 45 kick? A 45 kick from the Korean and... A warning yes. for gesturing. But Korea, Korea gets one point. So it's that's now four. four. And Spain also gets another point, so that's three. three for three. Oh, that was a turning side kick, and Spain. It's now five three. Yes, Korea leads Korea, by two. Both Korea fighters have a have a warning apiece. Korea was able to to make a, a very good turning side. Ten seconds left for round three, the men's bantamweight finals. Korea leads by five points. Spain has three points. And, and Korea wins the match. That's the end. 5-3 for Jang Desun of Korea. He takes the gold. Esparza of Spain takes the silver. And 
the start of the third round of the women's featherweight division. The USA really has to catch up now. She's got about three minutes to catch up. An axe kick and attempt. The 45 from the US. But uh, yes, she gets a point for that. It is, but also with Brazil, because she was able to counter with a 45. It's now 6 to 3. She's pressing now. The USA fighter. And Brazil gets another point for that. Seven points for Brazil. Three points still for US. Two minutes and 25 seconds to go in this third round. Brazil now has eight points. Five points down. USA is down by five points. A good roundhouse kick from the U.S. And she gets that point. It's now eight to four. Four U.S., eight Brazil. A minute and 50 se 56 seconds left here in the third round. Final and deciding round for the women's featherweight semifinals. The Brazil, uh, although she has a very comfortable lead, anything can happen. Very good um, offensive uh, move for U.S. But Brazil still leads. Still 8-4. to four. 8 for Brazil, 4 for U.S. Good. Dropping turning 45, but no point. At one minute to go on this third round, Brazil still leads. With, a, with 56 seconds left in the third round. A good axe kick, but it doesn't land on the, on the head here. Seconds left, Ricky, and um, Brazil. She got the point there. Yes, for that 45 kick. It's now nine to four. Nine for Brazil, four for U.S. She, uh, the Brazilian fighter, is in a very, very comfortable lead right now. And looks like she'll win this match. Yes, easily. because because um, the U.S. only has 10 seconds left to create a miracle, actually. You can see she's getting to be just a little bit desperate and aggressive. And that's the that's end it. of the third round. In score A, winner of the second match, the women's featherweight division from Brazil, Leonildes Dos. Leonildes Dos. We see Korea versus Turkey, the women's featherweight division. Isulmin in blue armor and Durai Deliktas in this the red armor. This is actually the third round already, Ricky, in the women's feather. By the way. Korean coach. Score is Korea 6, Turkey 2. Turkey down by 4 points. Good 45 kick, and Korea gets that point. Now it's 7 to 2. We've got 50 seconds left on this third round women's featherweight division between Korea and Turkey. Kiso Min is from Kyunghee University in Seoul. The top university for Taekwondo, by the way. Another exchange. 28 seconds left. Korea still leads with seven points. Turkey, two. It seems that the Korean fighter is not, um, you know, taking her time and just wait for the time, uh, for the time to end. 10 seconds left.
a and jumping long... turning side to the face and the referee gives a standing eight count Ricky, it's very rare actually for women to throw a jumping turning side and um korea's fighter was able to do it very well and she was even able to hit her target korea's Seung min lee jan wins we're just starting off with the women's featherweight division finals between Lee Sung Min of Korea and Yunildes Dos of Brazil. Lee Sung Min is in the blue armor. In the red armor is the Brazilian fighter Yunildes Dos. So far, Lee Sung Min has one point already in the first round. Lee Sung Min of Korea is the defending champion. She was the gold medalist in last 1993's World Taekwondo Championships in New York City. The Brazilian fighter, by the way, is no greenhorn to international competitions. She already won a gold medal in the South American Championships. Earlier, we saw this Brazilian fighter win her semi-final match. She tends to use an axe kick. Yes, but um, as we can see, the Korean fighter was able to counter. She, uh, she was able to get two points for that. Now it's three to one. Korea leads with three points and Brazil with one point. One minute and 25 seconds left on the first round. This is the women's featherweight finals. The winner takes gold here. A good for Yes. We heard the armor explode that time, but I thought it was a point. But again, we need two referees to see that and consider that as a point for it to be credited. One minute to go in this first round. Korea leads with three points, Brazil one point. Another 45 kick. It's a basic 45 and she gets a point for that. Four points for Korea and one for Brazil. 39 seconds to go in this first round. That's a very clear point there. Very crispy. Brazilian coach. A good turning side as a counter, but um, I don't think that was strong enough just yet. We still see four to one. Very good voice from the Korean fighter there. Another 45. Another 45 kick, five to one in favor of Korea. That's the left leg she's using. And that's the end of the first round. This is the women's featherweight final. The Brazilian fighter must find a way to enter Isung Min's defense. If she continues to play defensively and yes. just keep on waiting for the Korean's offense, she I don't think she's it. gonna make it. Korea has five points, whereas Brazil has only one. That is the third and final round. Isung Min of Korea in the blue armor, faking and entering. An exchange of kicks, but doesn't register. Uh, they've got about two minutes and 37 seconds left. One minute and 57 seconds left. Korea still on the lead. This will be the second gold of Korea for the day if she wins this match. A good jumping turn of 45. She gets a point for that. Korea now, and another one too. Korea now has seven points, whereas Brazil still won. Very good combination there. Mm -hmm. Excellent performance from the Korean fighter. One minute and 18 seconds left. On the clock, this is the third round, the deciding round. 45 seconds left. Seven points for Korea, one for Brazil. Good 45. But still, Korea uh, still has seven points. Brazil won. I think that the Brazilian fighter is in trouble right now. She's got only 20 seconds left for this third round. Can she make six points there? 
No, I don't think so. Another point from Korea. Eight, Eight points. One. Eight points now for Korea. Very, very comfortable lead for Korea. And she will win it. And the end. Lee Sung-min of Korea takes the gold medal in the women's featherweight division. Yes, and she is declared the winner. Leonidas Dos of Brazil takes the silver medal and she races a Leonidas Dos. Well, not bad for the Brazilian. So now she's a two-time world champion, this girl. On your left is Korean fighter Byung Woo Kim, and on the right is Bijan Mughanlu. Mughanlu. So, Carol, for those who don't understand Taekwondo, how, how can you understand this sport? For example, that was an axi. Wasn't that a point? I don't think that was credited as a point at the moment because it wasn't strong enough. I you think it was... Basically let's see the scoreboard. What's the score now? It's oh, it does. Yes. It did register. Now it's two to one. Two for Korea and one for Iran. At two minutes and 23 seconds to go on the second round. Another, another kick from the Korean. And now Korea leads again. Three points to one. Clearly a point there. We could see the Iranian's head tilting backwards. That's the Iranian coach there. 50 seconds to go on the second round. Still 3-1 in favor of Korea. So this is the second round of a three-round match. There is, there are three minutes per round. Good exchange and Korea gets, yes, both players gets that. Um, now Korea has four, Iran has two, 20 seconds to go, second round. You're watching the men's featherweight division. They're basically scoring with roundhouse kicks to the body. We're in the instep, hits the arm more flatly and makes a sound. If it doesn't make a sound, there's no point. Better known as the 45 degree 45 kick. 45 degree kick, that's right. And that's the end of the second round. Korea in the blue armor, Iran in the red armor. The score is 4-2 to two in lead of Korea. A good roundhouse kick. And Korea gets another point for that. 5-2. to two. Korea 6, Iran 2. I guess the Korean fighter can basically just wait because he's got 25 seconds now. 25 seconds left. He's got longer legs also. Yes, be better range. A good turning side. And it registers as a point, Ricky. What's a turning side, Carol? Turning side, well, that was the kick a while ago that you saw. Basically, it's almost like a side kick, but the difference is that um, the, uh, the kicker would just turn. It's now 7-2. to two. And that's the end of the third round. Kim byung ho declared the winner. He proceeds to the finals and will fight the winner of the USA-Italy semi-final match. Okay, we are now at court A. This is the match between the featherweight divisions. Semi-final match between USA's Clayton Barber and Italy's Nolando Claudio. And this is the third round actually with 10 seconds to go. USA has three points and Italy has two points. USA is in the blue armor and Italy in the red. And that's the end of the third round, Ricky. USA gets it. USA's Clayton Barber moves on. Claudio gets a bronze medal. And Barber a is assured mm -hmm. of a silver medal and has a crack at the gold medal. Yes. We're seeing the men's featherweight finals between Korea's Kim Byung-kuk and USA's Clayton Barber. I think what Korea is doing is basically just to let the U.S. do his thing. He's trying to read the U.S. fighter. He's finding his range. 
Barber telling him to come on. Baiting the Korean fighter. One minute and 14 seconds left on this first round on the men's featherweight finals. Winner takes gold in this fight. Still, Korea, no points. USA, no points, too. <laughs> Referee stops the time. He got hit by a low blow, the Korean fighter. But he's okay now. Now, Korea's down by half a point, by the way, because he got a warning earlier. Since the scores are still coming. Attempts are made, but they don't hit the legal scoring areas. So still no points. 25 seconds to go in this first round. You see the U.S. Coach. coach. A good axe kick. And it staggers it. And Korea gets one point. It was more like a high sidekick. <laughs> With his height, <laughs> it's pretty easy for him. Korea leads with one point, USA none. That's it for the first round. One zero in favor of Korea. So he's using his height very well. Well, the USA fighter has to get into his kicking range. You know, the funny thing is just one step back for the Korean the U.S. will have to do at least one and a half steps to get into his own kicking range because of his height. Either he moves really way out so he wouldn't get hit, or he moves inside so he can jump the Korean fighter's long legs. We're just about ready to begin the second round. This is the men's featherweight finals. Korea on the blue armor, U.S. on the red armor. Korea leads with one point, USA no point at all. That's Kim byung uk of Korea in the blue armor. And Clayton Barber of the USA in the red armor. By the way, the referee taking charge of this match is Roland Campos. He's from the Philippines. Two minutes and 23 seconds left on the clock on the second round. Korea leads with one point, USA none. He's trying his, his way in for Korean fighter. Both are reprimanded to fight. Basically waiting just a little bit too long. I think that the US fighter is a little bit intimidated now. He's trying to get in. No avail. One minute and 36 seconds left on the clock. Still Korea leads with one point. USA none. 20 seconds left on the second round. Still no change on the scores. 1-0. A good point. Perfect, but it was a little bit low. Yes, two but zero. Korea gets a point for hitting the armor. 2-0, to zero. and that's the end of the second round. Barber was holding to his, onto his lower abdomen however we heard the armor explode yes so that still counts uh, as a point korea with two points usa none we're about to start the third round on this men's featherweight finals korea on the blue armor on your left and usa on the right with the red armor you can see there the height difference You see, USA is starting to be um, a little bit aggressive because he has to catch up. Coach of Korea. 
Still Korea two Man, points, on, USA none. One minute, 30 seconds left. Fight is getting just a little bit too intense for everyone here. You can hear people screaming, shouting for their bets. Yes, the USA team here cheering on, telling Barber to move forward. He's got a minute left in his third round. The Korean fighter could really jam. With uh, his legs? Yes. He can actually jam quite easily. Okay, again. Both fighters now, I think, will get a deduction each for not fighting. Now, Korea has two deductions already. If he gets another deduction, that's it for him. He gets disqualified, even with good points. The USA team there. 24 seconds left on this third round. This is the men's featherweight finals. Korea leads with two points, USA none. 10 seconds left. And it's a countdown. And that's it. So, Carol, USA takes the silver medal. Yes, in Korea. Takes the gold medal. Takes the gold. That's his first World Taekwondo Championships, and he takes the gold medal.